In her book, The Politics of Resentment, UW-Madison political scientist Kathy Kramer revealed a powerful truth about Wisconsin politics. We're an us-versus-them state. Kramer visited more than two dozen communities and spent hours listening, trying to learn how people made sense of their politics. Listening closely to people revealed two things to me, she wrote, a significant rural versus urban divide and the powerful role of resentment. In particular, Kramer found that people resented the state's two largest cities, Madison and Milwaukee. So it was no surprise when Madison Mayor Paul Soglin's entrance into the 2018 governor's race was greeted by this tweet from Governor Walker, who said, the last thing we need is more Madison in our lives. Paul Soglin is the latest extreme liberal who wants to take our state backward, just like he did in Madison, where businesses have left and murders have gone up. We want to go forward. The language was strikingly similar to 2012. Back then, during the governor's recall election, Walker had blasted the record of his opponent, Milwaukee Mayor Tom Barrett. In the process, the city's image took a beating, with Walker at one point saying, we don't want Wisconsin to become like Milwaukee. The governor's criticism of the state's two largest cities may not sit well with some, but the Walker campaign knows the us and them message resonates in small towns and rural areas across the state. Should Paul Soglin emerge as a Democratic nominee, and that's hardly guaranteed, Madison may have trouble recognizing itself by the time we reach November. Thanks for being with us today. I'm Mike Gouche, and I'll see you again next week on Upfront.